Welcome to Youth Voices of Greater Cincinnati. Um, my name is Alan, and this is my partner, Davion, and we have a special guest. Hello, how you doing? My name is Ted Carter. Um, we came to ask you some questions um, okay. of being a Marine. What is the U.S. Marine Corps? Say that again. What is the U.S. Marine Corps? The U.S. Marine Corps is a, a branch of the military force. You have the Army, you have the Navy, you have the Air Force, and then you have the Marine Corps, which is your active duty. And then you have what you call your reserve uh, armed forces. Those are the ones that goes in for a so, certain period of time, but yet they stay at home. Where your active duty, those are the ones where they in from, when I went in, it was four years. You had to do four years. Now I'm understanding they have to do six years before they can get out. Uh, now I can't, I can't vouch for that because, like I said, I went in the Marine Corps a long time ago. <laughs> what age did you go to the Marine Corps? I went in the Marine Corps. I signed up at the age of 17 because I was that last year drafting. Uh, I don't know if you heard of draft, but they had the draft board. I was that last year they did the draft. Uh, my birthday came up. My year came up. And so I was drafted into I was drafted into the armed forces. So instead of going to the army, I went to the Marine Corps. That was my choice. What was the Marine Corps like? What was it like? Tough, tense. Um, you, um, it was rough. It wasn't like uh, I guess you could say your typical branch of services. From what I heard, uh, we had to do 13 weeks of training. You didn't get to uh, go home. You didn't get no week leave or anything like that. You've been in there for a week or two. You stayed there until you graduated, and we had 13 weeks of hard training. What was your favorite part of being a Marine? I enjoyed it because I guess you can say the, um, the toughness of it. Uh, not to say I was tough. It was just that I, I enjoyed it because I learned a lot of things things that I feel that young people uh, don't learn today. The need to, I think they really need to go into the branch of services because it teach you uh, how to take care of yourselves. It uh, teach you a lot of things being in uh, whatever branch of service. Uh, in the Marine Corps, they taught us a lot of things. What was the hardest part um, being a Marine? The hardest part for me was when I first went in, I went in right before I turned 18 years old. I might have fact, when I was 17 years old, I had to get a consent from my parents, but I already graduated. I graduated in, uh, when I was 17 years old, but I couldn't actually join without the consent of the parents because I wasn't 18 years old. After I got the consent from the parents that I can be able to join the Marine Corps, uh, the hardest thing was I went in in July and my birthday was in August, and that was the hardest thing to try to get used to not being at home. And I'm stuck in Marine Corps, being commanded to do this, and couldn't. I had to go to sleep only when they told me to go to sleep, wake up when they told me to go wake up, eat when they told me to wake up. That was the hardest thing to do. And you know, when you used to doing anything yourself. Um, what was training like? Training was rough, tough. I mean, we uh, got up at four o'clock in the morning. And you didn't go to bed till maybe about uh, eight o'clock that night. Uh, and all you did was just a bunch of exercises. You ran miles. You didn't run like half a mile. You run maybe three miles, six miles a day. We walked maybe 10 or 15 miles a day. Uh, you learned how to shoot your weapons. You learned how to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, a lot of things, but it was just tough, really tough. Did you get to um, pilot a Navy ship or jet? No, we, uh, Marine Corps is the branch of the Navy. The Navy is the uh, amphibious part of it, in other words, the water part. The Marine Corps is what they call the ground, the ground uh, part of the Navy. So actually the Marine Corps is under the Navy. And, but we was the ground force where the uh, Navy was the water force and the amphibious force of it. And we would be on carriers. If you was assigned to be on a carrier, you would be on a carrier and then your job was to protect whomever was on that carrier if you was assigned to do that. Um, has there been a moment where you thought that a mission you had to do was hopeless? 
You know, um, that's one thing about the Marine Corps I can say from my experience, I can't say for now and I can't say for everybody's experience, but my experience, they train you so to the intense, to the, so it's tense, intense that they train you to do your duties and do your job and do it well. Uh, so, cause your, your life depended on it as well as the next person next to you, their life depended on it. So if you had a job to do, you made sure you did the job well and they train you to that level. What was your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment? When I got out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I take that back. My greatest accomplishment, you mean for us in the Marine Corps? Yes. I liked when I got promoted until I got hurt. <laughs> that was my huh. greatest accomplishment because every time you got a promotion, you felt good. You felt good when you got a promotion. What was your biggest struggle? Home. Homesick. That was your biggest struggle was your homesick. Um, I'm not going to say you don't get homesick. You will get homesick, especially in the Marine Corps, uh, during basic tra uh, training time. Uh, but you're going to get homesick regardless if you're not in basic training, if you're out somewhere fighting or this and that. You can always think about home. You know, always going to think about, am I going to make it? Things such as that. So those are the biggest struggle. Those are the biggest struggles. So you try to try to depend on each other to pull each other through, to help each other through your struggling moments. Did you ever get to see a Harrier? No, never got to see the Harrier. No. Um, right. what was the highest rank you had in the Marine Corps? My Marine Corps was a corporal until I got hurt. I'm a disabled vet and I got hurt in the Marine Corps. So my highest rank before I got honorable discharge on a medical condition was a corporal. And um, at that time, I, I was 18 years old when I get, got the highest rank of, eight, uh, of a corporal. And the way they went in the Marine Corps was you start off as a private and then you start off with a private, then you become a private first class and then from a private first class to a lance corporal, from a lance corporal to a corporal, then from a corporal to a sergeant and on up the, and on up it goes. What was the food like? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> the food, as we call it in the barracks before you had to go out in the fields and everything, the food was good. It was always good and hot and you had to eat it and eat it fast. They trained you to eat food fast and you didn't even get to taste it. It went down your throat and that was it. You, you know, you're done. Uh, but when you was out in the field, they had what they call it back then, we call them sea rations. They were like little cans. I don't know if y'all heard of it, food being little cans and stuff like that. All your little stuff right there where you can be able to cook and everything. That was nasty, but you learned how to cope with it, deal with it and eat. Sometimes you didn't have that opportunity, so you had to eat off the land. Did you have a, a squadron? Yeah, I had a squadron. I was a squad leader in my platoon. I was a uh, first battalion, platoon 1098, and I was the fourth squad leader uh, of my platoon. And that's that's hard to do in the Marine Corps to be a squad leader because they just didn't let, let anyone be a squad leader because you had others behind you that they were uh, more or less, they were, uh, they, you know, that you over. So if you got an order to do something, they're going to follow you, but you got to be a good leader as well. What was your squadron name? Our squadron name? We didn't have a really a squadron name. Um, we really didn't. Um, I mean, we just looked at ourselves just doing a job. You know, fourth squad, basically you can call it the fourth squad 1098 um, is what you can say. But we really didn't have no squadron name. Um, what did you do in your free time? What did I do in my free time? Yeah. Relax, took it easy. Uh, when you're in your barracks and stuff like that, you might uh, play pool, because there were pool tables, things like that, tennis tables like that. All that stuff was there for you to watch TV, things such as that. So you just kind of just take and relax and just try to reflect on what you're doing and, and why you're doing it and, and how you're doing certain things. So you just took it easy. How is Marine Corps different from the Army? The training. The training. I would have to say the training. The training is intense. Uh, back then, like I said, I went in in 1972. When I went into the Marine Corps, that's over 40 something years. Back then, like I said, it was um, 13 weeks of training where the Army was only doing only eight weeks of training. And when they was in there for two weeks, their first two weeks after two weeks of training, they got what they call leave, where they got off to go on base and party and everything else, where in the Marine Corps, you didn't get that privilege. If you was a person where you went in in the Marine Corps and you had an attitude, 
they was what you call put you in an attitude platoon. And that's where you really learn about discipline. And when I say discipline, if you had attitude, they'll break you from that attitude. And if they didn't break you from that attitude, they'll uh, discharge you with a dishonorable discharge, which that'll be with you the rest of your life. If you was overweight and they took you in at an entry weight and then they couldn't get the weight off you while you was in a regular platoon, they'll put you in what they call a, a platoon called a PCP platoon. That was a platoon where people that's overweight, but they would get them down to the size of where they wanted to get them down to. Now, mind you, you were doing 13 weeks of regular training, but if you got stuck in one of those platoons, your time stopped. So in other words, if you were in that platoon in one of those platoons for another four weeks, three weeks or whatever, that's just how much longer it took for you to get out of the Marine Corps before you graduate. But you had to graduate out of the Marine Corps. Um, would you like go? Would you like to go back to the Marine Corps? I'm always a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. They 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 put that in you for good. <laughs> Once a Marine, always a Marine. How did it feel when you left? I I had to get used to everything again. Uh, it's uh, because the training that you go through, um, the things that they teach you. So you have to get used to all of the, um, I guess I guess you can say life itself, because you, uh, when you're in that type of environment, your thing you're taught certain ways and you taught certain things, so you have to learn how to cope with life because you've been away, you know, per, per, you know maybe perhaps for a long time or a while, but it takes a while um, to get used to, and once you overcome that, you're all right. Did you make any friends in the Marine Corps? Oh yeah, I made a lot of friends, uh, and they were all friends that were basically in the Marine Corps, uh, because like I said, we, it was like a brotherhood. Uh, so you had to make friends. I had enemies too. I ain't gonna tell you, that we didn't, we had enemies too. We had friends, you know, so you, you're gonna experience that in those type of branch of services. So yes, we had, I, I made friends, yes. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Well, that's all for today. This is Youth Voices.